All right, so I left the camera at um, college and we are home for spring break. So the phone is the move for today. But anyways, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be showing you guys my home gym, the video that I promised you guys like a week after I filmed the last video, which was 135 days ago, I think, according to YouTube studio. But anyways, that's besides the point. I'm making a video now and I wanna show you guys my home gym, uh, the addition that we added, which is one piece of equipment and move the rack back. So I'm gonna be giving you guys a full tour of this bad boy. Um, I don't think I'm going to add anything else for a long time, if ever. It's everything I need. Only thing is maybe like a couple more dumbbells, like heavier dumbbells, but it's perfect. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to be showing you guys the home gym tour and hope you like it. All right, we're going to be starting off with the wide angle. Um, you can see me over there, but the wide angle is going to catch everything and it's going to be a better look. So, starters. Um, I think you saw this in the last video. This is a just Marcy all-in-one, um, kind of machine. So, you know, it's got the little, um, the angles on both god angles now the um what do you call it the cables on both sides i do this for like incline flies and i don't really do like triceps i don't know why that's there i have no idea but um it's like the weight that how many pulleys there are it just kind of makes the weight weird and i have that thank god so i just do all my triceps and stuff that i you know pull movements there but that is there i really use this for chest flies and stuff like that but it works great um just a little pull-up bar um i got the fly attachment on there i use that quite a bit on um you know chest days whatever obviously and um yeah it's pretty good for weight storage as well and it also has a smith machine the bar's not on there right now it's over in that corner because it's in the way when i need to do flies or anything else so um it's not too hard to attach but um yeah it works so that is that machine it's got a couple weights with it whatever and then here's my marcy adjustable bench it's got you know the one i've had all the other videos you know, it's got the um, leg extension, leg curl attachment. Um, it's off right now just because it gets in the way. But that is that machine. Bam! So next machine. Back to the normal lens because the wide lens was too much for this machine and the rest of the home gym. So we have the TDS lat pull down and row machine. Um, I've had this for, God, years. Um, I've had it in every um, home gym setup, every gym, whatever. Um, it is amazing. Only thing I've had to do is change the pulleys uh and change the cable which you can see up there and the only reason i had to change the cable was because the old pulleys messed up the old cable so if you just change the pulleys from the get-go you will not have that issue hopefully um yeah so that is my lap machine there's a bunch of attachments over there we'll go ahead and go there you know just the lap pull down um bar and then you have you know have your t-bar row or not t-bar row good lord uh just a v you know row attachment um just straight bar and then this bad boy um that and then the, the the hog legs you can see that right there um gym equipment's kind of hard to get right now especially for the home gym stuff so um that is a lucky find that we got and um it's like super thick and robust really like it it's pretty cool it's a different different kind of feel and um it's pretty nifty i like it then we have a little arm blaster over there the kink in it is weird like the way it's bent it's kind of strange so it's i i don't really use it that often but i do have it if i really wanted to get like a solid pump so that is for attachments in the lap machine. Bam! All right, we're going to go to the main attraction here. Um, so this is my um, Titan Fitness T3 is the exact um, thing. It is the tall version, and I want to say wide. I think they have a wide or slim version, meaning like how like how wide it is. There you go. Um, it's the tall version because when I bought it, we, were ha we had intentions of moving everything into my shop. And um, we just put it in here and... I'm glad I went for the tall version because uh, it's just I like having the amount of room that it has. Um, it's just a great, great rack. It has the west side barbell spacings. As you guys uh, recall from my last video of doing a home gym tour, same thing. Only thing different, we just moved it back um, about, I don't know, probably five feet or so. So it used to be right there, but we moved it back because of the next piece of equipment, which I will get to in a second. Um, yeah, so for flooring, real quick to touch on, we just have <laughs> whatever we got. Um, just overall, that's those are kind of like mats you get from uh, Sam's and like Walmart. They're like little like puzzle piece mats. We had a ton of those from the garage, and I've just evolved my gym into getting more horse stall mats. So we're slowly getting rid of those and replacing them with these. But these are decently expensive. They're about forty to fifty bucks a piece. And you know, if you wanted to fill this entire gym all the way around, it's going to be kind of pricey. So. We're just getting one piece at a time, and that does the job perfectly right now. I have no complaints. The main parts that are pretty important to stand on and throw weight on are covered, so that's all that matters to me right now. So let's get to the bar. Bam! Now we're at the bar. It's the same bar that I've had this whole time. It's a rogue boneyard bar. 
Um, one thing I do recommend is if you're going to get a bar, make sure it is the um, type bar that you want. This, I'm pretty sure, is a powerlifting bar. I'm not a big bar guy, but um, this doesn't have center knurling. So, um, uh, not powerlifting bar. I mean, like, Olympic lifting bar. So, it's more for, like, power cleans and um, hang cleans, I think. Don't quote me on that. But it does not have that center knurling that I use um, or comes in handy when you're squatting and um, sometimes deadlifting. If you deadlift really close or close grip bench and stuff like that, um, just having that center knurling is very helpful. But it is a boneyard bar from Rogue, and it has proved itself for sure. Um, it's a little rusty. It's a little dirty. But I've put, you know, close to, you know, 400, 500 pounds in this thing, and it has held up great. So slammed it around. Great bar. I um, really like it. So we'll go to the benches next. Bam! So this is the bench that we use for um, bench and stuff and incline, whatever. Um, it's okay. I do like it. The gap's a little big, but we got it for $25 at Goodwill. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but Goodwill um, sometimes, very rarely, has um, decent, you know, gym equipment that you can gym equipment that you can use. Not necessarily like, you know, like some weird 1980s elliptical. But if you get lucky, you can find things like this. And um, once I get to the dumbbells, I have a couple from actually Goodwill that I got for really cheap. So if you guys are looking um, for gym equipment on the low. Go to Facebook Marketplace, go to Goodwill, you know, resale shops. They sometimes have some pretty good deals. So on to the weights and the final machine. Bye. The weight situation is the exact same. Um, we just have a ton of weights that have accumulated over time. You know, Facebook Marketplace, um, friends, and just, you know, seeing what deals there are around me. Um, we have probably about six or 700 pounds, including those 245s, those 245s, 10s, 25. I don't need any more because I am not strong at all. So I didn't even need that in the first place, but they're there for... Um, you know, they're there to look good. So those are the weights, and now we're get to the main thing of this gym. Y'all ready for this? This is the main piece of equipment of this gym. It's freaking sick. I love it. I've used it like five times, I think. More than that. But anyways, it's it's oh my god, I love it. You ready? Ready for this? All right. Bam. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the main attraction of the home gym. The newest piece of gym equipment, and my favorite piece of gym equipment in this gym. This is a Titan Fitness hack squat and leg press combo machine. This thing is absolutely sick. I, I just, I, I have nothing to do but to rave about it. Number one, the price. Number two, the quality. And number three, versatility. So number one, the price. This thing comes in around a little bit over $1,000. And yes, that is kind of pricey. No, it is pricey. But the reason I say it's such a good deal is because if you think about getting a commercial uh, grade like uh, hack squat or leg press, um, a commercial grade, you're looking at about at least $1,500 to $2,000 used and having them both in, in one machine and not taking up, you know, a lot of space and then being in the same machine is, is nothing to, you know, you don't think twice about it. And, um, so as you can see right now, it is in the hack squat position, but if you flip this plate up and you flip this down, bam we're in the leg press position so this machine is just super super high quality the um it was pretty easy to put together and um yeah i have nothing but good words to say about it as i say in every video that i have um absolutely love it if you guys want to get it i'll have everything linked in the description below and that is the newest piece of equipment that i have and i hope you guys like it i am absolutely in love with it and i hope you guys consider um picking one up if you do I highly recommend it. It doesn't take up too much space. I think it's seven feet long, and you know, including the the um, the head of the seat. Um, it doesn't take too much space, but especially for what it is, having a hack squat and a leg press in there, um, totally worth it. So that is the newest piece of gym equipment. Hope you guys like that, and let's get on with the rest of the gym. Bam! So this thing's the same. It's just the um, you know the preacher curl station we got on eBay. Um, still working great. Use it every now and then. Um, it's a nice little addition to a gym. And um, we'll just go over the little things now. There is, you know, just a little curl bar. All the flags there. That is backwards. I'm 99% sure. I still have not changed that. I need to. Um, you know, it's got the bigger Texas flag because I'm from Texas. And, yeah, um, you know, just got that bad boy up there still. Got my last name up there now. My parents had this from when they were young. And so we just found it laying in the back and we put it up there. So, 
yeah, that is an overall view of my gym. Guys, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys liked the uh, new gym layout and the uh, new piece of equipment that was added. Um, yeah, sorry about the delay on the video. I just, I don't know, man. YouTube is like, I'll be in it for a month and I'm out and I don't know. I just need to stay more consistent. Um, I'm gonna try my best to just get in there and, and do my work and edit and you know, I can film all day, but editing, it's just like, I'm not very good at it. And I just, I feel like, I always feel like my videos are not good whenever they're posted. And I just kind of like, I get in my head about it. So I'm just going to say, screw it, edit this one and post it. And um, yeah, so just let me know what you guys think about everything in here. Let me know any questions you guys have. And um, yeah, so I'm trying to be more real with you guys. I always like, I try and like, you know, make the perfect video every time. And I know you guys are just, you know, here to live it with me. So um yeah i'm hoping i can pop out more videos soon school is not too bad right now so i think i have the time i definitely have the time to do it it's just if i do it so um thank you guys so much for your support and so much watch or thank you so much for watching um you know i'm up to 200 and something subscribers now which is absolutely crazy i never thought i'd even get over 50 so um i just want to say thank you to every single one of you um everyone who watches this video and yeah so uh hopefully i'll catch you on the next one later